Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to Windows 10 for the Dell people. Yes, if you're a Dell computer owner by now, you've been frustrated, pulling your hair out, wanting to throw your computer either out the window, through the window, into a wall, or take your nearest shotgun to it. Anyways, so Windows 10 is not that bad, guys. Um, there's a few things that have to be done, okay? Um, for example, creating this recovery drive is something that I was unable to do. Uh, when I initially put the Windows 10 in. And uh, so, because what it does is it basically, it reinstalls over top and puts a, like a system old folder there. You got 30 days to go backwards, apparently. I don't know what that really means in, in the whole scoop of things, but whatever, maybe it programs your computer to never run anything below again. I have no idea. Anyways, the point is you get 30 days to uh, have fun with it. If you don't like it, get rid of it. Go back to your old operating system, you're good to go. So, the big problem though is for the recovery drive. Now one of the biggest problems I had was I was, I was already getting sluggy. I am seriously so bad at, you know, keeping my own maintenance on my own computer, right? Especially the last couple of years because I'm an upload freak, you know, like seriously. I mean, look how many videos we got, over 1,200 I think by now. Anyways, um, so I don't have any time to reload my comp. Usually I do this about once every three or four months. Um, I always recommend that, you know, regular people, you know, every six months at least, you know, reformat, reload, everything clean. Your hard drive stays in great shape for years. Your software runs smoother, better, faster, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, it's been almost about a year since my last reload. And uh, so I threw in the OS 10, And, of course, it's supposed to be doing a fresh install. Okay, fine. Um, so anyways, it was still a little sluggy, had some issues there. I don't like the new version of Internet Explorer, if you even want to call it that. Um, it sucks, but hey, you know, some people may like it. I don't. Um, and I use Google Chrome, and I have to use Google Chrome to upload to YouTube, because IE has not worked for me in a couple of years for uploading to YouTube. So I just said, <laughs> the heck with IE. You know, maybe they'll get their act together someday. But Google Chrome works awesome, and it's faster. So anyways... I installed this thing and I could not make a, a, dry, a recovery drive if my life depended on it. You know, it just would not go. And this is the problem all over the internet right now and I am your solution to tell you how to get this done so that it should work for you. Okay, I do say should. Um, I know I've got a Dell XPS computer and I'll guarantee it'll work on this computer. It should work on all the Dell systems though that are experiencing this problem with creating the drive. The problem is, guys, you get too much crap on your computer after, you know, X amount of however long it's been. And uh, you can develop bad blocks and sectors or it could be corrupted file systems somewhere. Something has definitely gone hanky, right? So I could not create a recovery drive. And I'm like, this sucks. And so does 10 because it's also slugging me down. So anyways, I thought, well, I'm going to uninstall it. So I uninstalled it. You know, and uh, went back to Windows 7, and my computer didn't pick up any speed. I was like, this really sucks. So, oh well, I'll just reload my computer. Now, here's the thing about reloading versus recovery, etc., etc. When you reload a computer, you need to tell your software to format. Yes, the word format. F-O-R-M-A-T in capitals. Format your C drive. Okay, so back up your stuff first. All right, I'm lucky enough to have two physical actual hard drives in my computer. I got over a terabyte and a half, and so I got a separate C, separate D. They're actually independent hard drives. So I can fit, I think, a couple more into this thing. But anyway, you must format the drive, reinstall your version of Windows, whether it be Windows 7 or XP or 8 or 8.1. Reinstall that completely fresh. Do all the updates, okay? And when you do a separate scan for optional updates, do those too. And then you'll get this other retarded update, which is going to be your OS 10, of course, once again. Well, at least while the free thing's going on. So, of course, you re-sign up for that and blah, blah, blah. And okay, it's going to re-download your computer, obviously. Did for me. And um, things are running much smoother and faster now. And as you can see, I can now create the recovery drive. If there's any bit of corruption anywhere in your file system on your comp, that is what is more than likely stopping the Dell computers. It may even be stopping other brands of computers, but Dell computer owners are the ones right now going completely mental over this. It's like, why can't I do this? 
okay and um, we're also of course experiencing real bad slowdown because we just installed an operating system over a drive that's probably loaded with corruption you have file wear and tear and so on because you know even if you do proper maintenance to your computer I'm going to tell you something, and whether you like it or not, I don't care. It's the fact is, is usage of the hard drive period, in and out, files going on and off your drive, whatever, okay, it, it transfers information everywhere through your operating system, and things can get screwed up and corrupted. This is why sometimes your, your system recovery software doesn't work, and you're like, oh my god, I can't do a, you know, backdate to the last good OS, right? It's because something got screwed up and corrupted, and the only way to fix this is to do a fresh reinstall, which means format and reinstall. So, I did a format, I reinstalled the uh, software that came with my computer, which was Windows 7 Professional. Um, I've downloaded, of course, the Windows 10 Professional, because that's what I get for Windows 10 Pro. My wife gets a different version of Windows 10, because she's not running Windows 10 Pro, she gets another version of it. But anyways, um, and as you can see, we have no hiccups right now creating a recovery drive. Now, you do not have to pre-format the USB stick, but you need at least a 16 gig stick, they say, um, that's got at least 8 gigs room free. So yeah, 16 gig stick, go for it. Um, I bought one for like 6 bucks at the source, no big deal. You do not format the stick, just throw it in your computer you know, and start the recovery, it will automatically format it the way it needs to for you as it's creating the recovery drive. So this should solve at least the Dell people's problems. If anybody else is having this exact same problem, try the same thing. Reload your operating system that came with your computer clean, do all your updates, get that download for Windows 10, you may have to sign up for it again, should be not less, not more than a half an hour and it'll say, we are downloading Windows 10 for you. It could be a while, so blah, blah, blah. You know how the drill goes. You went through it once already, right? You're going to go through that whole rigmarole again. Anyways, and before you go very far with going crazy on stuff, you know, get your updates completely up to date on your operating system. Then do the OS 10, and you'll find that things are going to run a lot smoother. You're going to run uh, probably a lot faster than you were, weren't you, right? Because now you've got a good OS instead of a screwed up one. So it should speed things back up and uh, be friendly after that, okay? Now, like I said, I, there's this thing too where they say that you've got 30 days to uninstall 10 before it becomes permanent on your computer. Now, I don't know what that really means. I don't know what it's going to do to our comps. But I'll take a risk because I am warrantied up to the whoops shoot with my computer. So if it messes up my comp, Dell takes care of me, which is awesome. I paid for that kind of coverage, you know. So, but uh, let's hope nothing goes funky, right? But at least now I'll have a recovery drive uh, for this. So if I ever need to reinstall OS X again, it'll be real simple and easy to do. Um, otherwise, there's no other way because unless you buy the OS. Because Microsoft did specify that... This free handout they're giving everybody for is for a limited time. And then that's it. You know, anybody after that who didn't, you know, reserve their free copy, as they say, um, yeah, you guys are going to have to go out and spend money. And uh, so if you're one of these people who already have a computer, you've downloaded 10, you did not do this backup right away, guess what? You're going to have to pay for OS 10 once that cutoff happens. You know, I was very impressed that uh, I was able to have a second shot at getting it, considering I uninstalled it, right? And they ask you a bunch of questions, you know, why you're uninstalling it. Plus, I did a little write-up, you know, it slugged down my comp, not happy. Well, I've played a little bit here before I did my uh, recovery drive, just to zip through a few things, and it does appear to be a lot quicker than it was. And that's kind of, I figured it would be anyways, but... Uh, how well System 10 is going to be, I guess we'll all find out. But so far, I'm actually liking System 10. And once I get a little more acquainted with 10 and everything, I will give you guys a tour video of what I've learned about OS 10. Because there's always going to be questions out there for a while about this or that or the other thing. But today, I wanted to help you guys solve your problem with this first. So um, anyways, that's pretty much about it and covers it. So thank you for watching. Now, if you have any questions, comments, you know the drill. Feel free to leave them. I'll do the best I can to answer them. If you're not subbed to my channel, please sub. You'll always get updates. 
Yes, I do a ton of RC stuff. I do some music stuff too. Uh, but I also do stuff like this as well. And I review everything I buy anyways, whether it's an RC product or not. I'm a tech guy. I love my tech. So anyways, guys, see you later. Have fun.